Sam, firstly, congratulations on one employer of the month for April. How do you feel to be recognised for your efforts? No, I'm really honoured that I was even nominated in the first place and I'm really thankful for everyone that voted for me, so I really appreciate it. And five goals for yourself last month, you must be really proud of the work you've been doing on the pitch. Yeah, I think that's something I really wanted to add to my game is goals, so to be scoring for the team has been really good, so I uh, hopefully can keep it up in the games going forward. My first hat-trick competitively for the club, so yeah, my family and stuff are really proud and they were there to see it, So, and all the girls were buzzing for me, so... I was really happy with it and I actually got the match ball so Heather was raging about that, that's still one of the balls but yeah. And when we spoke after that game I remember you saying that was something you wanted to keep adding goals to your game, do you set yourself like targets and goals between now and the end of the season especially after that game? Yeah obviously I have targets per game and everything like that and it's something that I've really been trying to focus on doing so uh, before Christmas it wasn't really working out for me but now after Christmas the pennies kind of just drop now and I'm getting chances and I'm getting shots on target, I'm getting opportunities now so I just need to keep taking them when they come and not putting too much pressure on myself. We need to continue that momentum and get win every game possible to, and hopefully it falls in our favour but we are focused on each game as it comes, we know it's going to be hard, it's going to be a challenge but we're up for it and we're ready and the focus is now on the Hearts game coming up this weekend. The last two times we've played Hearts, we haven't really got the result that we wanted. Um, we should have probably got the result at, um, the last time we played them, but obviously dying minutes of the game, it never fell our way. So we'll be really going into that game with a focus, uh, a real game plan. And we know they're going to be a tough opposition to break down. They're a good team and uh, they're really organised. So it will be up to us to stick to our game plan, uh, take our chances when they come and obviously manage the game. And looking at recent results as well, there's been a couple of narrow victories and two clean sheets as well. It must be a positive for you and the team that you can find different ways to win games of football. Yeah, definitely. I mean, it's a real credit to the league. They're obviously improving. All the teams are getting much better and um, this is the way it's going to be in the future. You can't just walk all over teams anymore. They're all organised. They all have really good game plans. So we need to come out every game 100% and perform well to get the results and just like the one that Hibs just showed you, we, we scored in like the final moments of the game and that's the way it's going to be so we need to get the results at the end of the day. The girls are really happy, we're in good spirits. We know we've obviously got pressure on us to perform and, um, perform and obviously win games but we're taking it each game as it comes and we're taking it in our stride and we're ready for it. And there must be genuine belief amongst the squad now with recent results that you can go on and reclaim the title and of course you'll get that cup final to look forward to at the end of the month as well. Yeah definitely, I think as a team we never really gave up that belief and we keep going every day and we know if we work hard and put in all the efforts then hopefully it will go our way so yeah.